a particular season of his life. There was a season where he wrote in Psalm 51, have mercy, have mercy. And we strongly believe that that place was when he committed adultery with uh, Uriah's wife. But every place in the Bible in Psalm, it was a particular season. If you read the book of Psalm, you will see emotions moving, high emotion, low emotion, being angry, being agitated, laying curse. Psalm 94, he said, Oh God, arise to whom vengeance belongeth. You read the one we read this morning, Psalm 64. He said this, they, they can't up secretly. So it is different stages and different things he was going through. At different places of his life. That's where he began to write the psalm. There are some times when you read the book of Psalm, you will feel the tears of David upon the psalm. There was, the one, there was one he wrote in Psalm 25. He said it was not a brother or a sister, I mean a, a, an enemy that betrayed me. It was my own friend. My own, it not say my own friend, my own familiar friend. We went to church together. Then he said we took sweet counsel. You can tell the betrayer in his voice. You can tell the emotion in the prayer. That is the reason why whenever I go to Psalms, I always pray with Psalms. I look at emotions to pray. But I read this particular place, Psalm 103. David said, Bless the Lord, O my soul. He went for that to stew and said again, the second time, bless the Lord, oh, my soul. This is a prayer he was making. He was praying for his wife. He wasn't praying for his children. Don't worry. That he wants to pray for his enemy. He wants to pray for his friend. He wasn't praying because he was in distress. He wasn't praying because he wanted money from God. He wasn't praying because he was looking for something. He was praying for his soul. Soul. He said, my soul. Bless the Lord. Bless the Lord. Why would he pray for his soul? Why would he pray for his soul? Number one thing you must understand. Human beings are made of three entities. The body, the spirit, and the soul. The spirit is the real you. The body is close, covering your spirit. Why the soul is your mind? Your soul is your mind. Your soul is your reasoning faculty. Your soul is where you see memory. Your soul is where somebody do something to you. It depends on you. That is your soul that feels it. Your soul is where something happens to you and you begin to cry. That part of you that controls your emotion is your soul. David said, bless the Lord. I pray for my soul. I pray for my mind. Why was he praying for his mind? He said, because the soul has one default. What is the default? The soul has the default of forgetting. The soul has the default.
putting forth is like garbage in and garbage out. There are memories that when it has stored in your memory, in your soul for a while, your soul will delete it. There are emotions that when it has been in your mind for a while, your soul will delete them. There are euphorias. There are pain. There are joy. There are happiness. There are certain seasons that when your soul feel them and it has stayed for a while, it will delete it. So David said, bless the Lord. My soul, bless the Lord. I'm praying for you, my soul. I'm praying for you, don't forget. Even if you delete those who are against me, even if you delete those who offend me, even if you delete those who did me wrong, my soul, do not delete all his benefits. He prayed for his soul. Bless the Lord, oh my soul, and forget not his benefits. The human brain has the ability to forget easily. That is the reason why if you eat food this morning, no matter how sweet the food is, you cannot sustain the emotion of that sweetness for 24 hours. Is it true? Yes or no? It's true. That is the reason why if <laughs> If you experience joy, something happens in your life, and you are happy, you just enter your house. No, there are some times you hear some news, you see some things, you experience some things, it gives you joy. The way you carry yourself is different. But that memory does not last. One bad news can make you delete that joy you had for a moment. That is why David, when he was praying, he said, oh God, this is my soul, so bless him. Make it not forget. Make it not forget. Have you two realized? Or are you not aware that if you are going to pain and God bring you out of that pain you forget the pain two of us that's what the soul does why is it that the human brain cannot store certain memory Every time, every time, delete. Every time, delete. You know the funny thing about this memory? Eh? The good thing that I put on you, you will delete it fast. But the person who offend you, you can never forget it in your life. You are not hearing me now. Why is it so? When something bad happened, your memory is able to, 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 that is even your memory, eh? it be like, it be like, it be like a computer. When you format your phone, there are some numbers that will be saved in your Gmail. Now they delete that one. So memories are so, that they are very good at remembering bad things. They are very good at remembering the evil thing. But every good thing that happens, it they delete it. Why is it that the human mind forget easily? Number one, disappointments. Disappointments. Hear me? Hope that it, any time hope has been delayed there, eh, it makes the soul to sour. That's why you see people they curse God. 
We are God day. Why they suffer? We are God day. Why are they hungry? Here is God. When people are talking bad about me, where is God? When I be suffering, begging from heart to mouth. Why is it so? Because what you are expecting in life is not coming to you. So it makes you to forget every good thing that God has done for you. Because why? You are living in the now. When you are expecting, 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 and it's not coming, it makes you forget. When things are not working well for you, you don't remember that there was a day that God delivered you from accidents. When things are not working well for you, you don't remember that, that there was a day where you almost died. You are operated and you almost died. That you gave testimony in the church. Why? Because what you expect, it never come. Disappointment is one reason that make the soul to forget. When you have been disappointed, every, every, every good, every good, Kalama Katushia, is being deleted. Because you are currently in pain. And when you are in pain, your soul makes you to live in now. So you forget about what you are going to. About what God has done for you. Number two reason why a man forgets is because of the passage of time. When miracle has happened 10 years ago and no miracle has happened again, you forget. For instance, you just gave testimony, did a very big party, that God, I thank you for I just finished one thing. I finished this course, I graduated, I did that. That joy is there. Is it? Everybody will cook. There is dancing, there is celebration, there is festivity. You see the mood you are in. You are happy, you are dancing, you are celebrating. One alert come, like last year, November. Heavy alert, five million naira. You gave testimony like 10 times in church. That God, you are good. The God of divine prayer and faith ministry. It's a good God. But when there's no continuity of miracle, when there is delay, that miracle begins to fade away. The memory of that testimony, the memory of that joy, the mem mem memory of that celebration, it's no longer there again. That is the reason why you forget that there was actually a time where God sustained you, survived you, rescued you, cared to you. You forget. Anytime there is a miracle and miracle not follow, Another miracle not follow. Sometimes you look at God as if God is wicked. That is why the human mind forgets. No material thing that makes the mind to forget is when you are comfortable with the blessings of God. Do you know that when you are praying for something today, you can fast and pray. You can do everything. You can lie down the altar. You can... You can you can travel in the night. You can do everything. You can be very effective. You can be very, very, you know, very serious with God. You can be very, very active. Service of God is on point. Your giving is on point. Your tithe is on point. Your attendance is on point. Because you are looking for, for something. When that thing come, and you have become comfortable, you forget the time where dedication was being made, where you have been active. You forget to do what you were doing before God blessed you. 
So when you become comfortable with the blessings of God, it makes you to forget. To forget. These are the reasons why a man forgets. The human mind forgets, number one, because of disappointment. Number two, because of the passage of time. And number three, when you are too comfortable with the blessings of God. No wonder David said, this is my soul. Bless the Lord. Oh. Bless the Lord. Oh. Don't make me forget. Oh. Don't make me forget. Look at David. David was the only man that they drove him from his, from his throne. His son drove him from his throne. He was living like an animal. He was hiding like an animal. David was the one, the son, carried on his wives, placed them on the altar, made love to them, one by one. David was the same man. Enemies invaded his house, took his wives and children. David was the same one who, when the father was asking for, when Samuel was asking for Jesse's son, he was not regarded as a son. He, were, he had faced everything in his face. He escaped the hand of Saul on several occasions. He felt the right thing, but yet he is saying, bless the Lord. Even though I went through all this thing, I know where I'm coming from. I know where I'm coming from. I was a nobody in my father's house. If not for the grace of God upon my life, I wouldn't even become a king. I would have been a bush boy. Maybe the highest level I would have been would have been a, a, a senior shepherd in the whole of Israel. If not for the grace of God that brought me from the bush and planted me as a king, I would have been even facing what I am facing. David remembered how God passed all his elder brothers and picked him and made him a king. David remembered how God, my God, delivered him from countless battle. So he said, this is my soul. Don't forget where you are coming from. Bless the Lord. Bless the Lord. I'm praying for you, my soul. Bless the Lord. Bless the Lord. Bless the Lord, oh my soul. It's my memory. Even if you forget anything, forget not my benefit, all the benefit of God in my life. The human mind, when you are going through pain and God deliver you, you forget easily. Complaining is a symbol of forgetting. Any man who complains too much, there's no God in the church. God not there again. God used to be here before. They pray and they walk again. They are like the children of Israel. The moment they see challenges, they will start crying. Why did God carry us out of Egypt? God should have left us in Egypt to die. And that was the reason why God became angry with them. Why is it that you always amplify your problem? I don't see where I'm bringing you from. Why is that you're always complaining of what you don't have now? Where what you are trying to protect now? There was a time you didn't have it. Why are you complaining that even among your father's children, even in the state you are in, they are still envying you. The human mind has the ability to forget. That is the reason why when I see certain people behave in a certain way, I say this one, don't forget where it's coming from. You don't remember anymore how you used to beg your, your neighbor to come to church. How you used to track to come to church. 
how you need to suffer insult and even uh, ridicule in the heart of your enemy because you don't have a particular thing in your life. Now, God has delivered you. Your goalpost has shifted. You have forgotten where you are coming from. David said, Bless the Lord. Oh, my soul. And forget not his benefits. Is somebody hearing me now? Yes, sir. You are not hearing me. There are sometimes you need to pray for your soul to remember. You need to pray for your soul to remember a man of God. I think his father-in-law his father-in-law the man was a, the, 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 the man the pastor came from a wealthy family the wife family came from a wealthy family so when they got married the father-in-law gave them a land so that they can build because of the daughter so they built the house very beautiful edifice so they went to abroad on vacation Nigerian pastor so on vacation in abroad and were enjoying themselves while they were in their in abroad the house the man built in Nigeria something happened caught fire everything born rich ground so the man had to cut his vacation short and came from abroad back to Nigeria as he came thus bad man people they came and they told him, Why? I think you be man of God. It's like the only ghost fire away they pray, don't burn your house. They came and they told him, Ah, man of God, why would this guy have put to you? It could have happened to anybody but not you. Why would have all this kind of thing happen to you? The man said, Carry shall come. He said, Let me tell you my story. He said, Am I not grateful to God? That when this had bought, I was not here. What if I was here and I died in the house? Am I not grateful to God that many people don't even have a land, but I have a land? So he began to count what God did for him and where God took him from. That he even have a house, that he even had a house that is even born. There are some people don't even have a land. That's how you, you reason. When your brain do not forget. You remember where you are coming from. He said, I don't know why I have accidents. You, will you not thank God that God delivered you? You have a car. How many people are attacking with their leg? So your mind, the computer of your mind begins to browse. Suddenly, every good thing that happened in your life you don't forget them. And now, because things are not working well for you, you begin to complain. 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 There are those who came to this church. They are begging to eat. God delivered them. They are not only eating, they are not bought a land. There are those who came to this church. They were taking to church. God not only gave them a car, he has given the comfort to find the car. There are those who came on this church. When they came, things were not going well for them. God delivered them. But because now, their goalposts have shifted. They have deleted everything they were going through initially. And now God has brought them far. And now God has delivered them. And what is in their memory is now. Is somebody hearing me now? I hear you, sir. Do you know the reason why? Sometimes, when the enemies fight, when they attack me, I will just begin to count my blessing. Count your blessings. Name them one by one. Count your blessings. See what God has done. Count your blessing, 
Some people they are praying and fasting for it. 